Hey guys, it's Nahar here, and in this video I would like to address the new topic everyone is talking about, and it's the new eBay shipping policies. Now, everyone call it the new eBay shipping policies, but actually what's happened is that uh, the only things, the new things that happened, it's that eBay added, uh, when we uh, revising our uh, listing, they added this small um, graphic and text here, improve search visibility and increase sales add item location zip code basically they trying to encourage us to add uh, zip code uh, to our listings and i can understand why and i want to clarify it uh, because yes it is new uh, update in the way ebay uh, requesting from us to update our shipping location but no it's not a new shipping policies and it's very important that you all understand because I see a lot of people are panicking around this topic, asking me questions about this topic. And I want to, to go through the selling practice policies that is right now uh, on uh, eBay site and also talk to you about how to handle it. So you can just continue your business as usual. So the selling practice policy we see here, talking about all the ways, uh, all the things we need to do when we are selling on eBay shipping services, shipping and handling costs, and so on. And there is one topic here that called item location misrepresentation. Now, let's read it together. When a buyer purchases an item, they expect it to be shipped from the item location included in the listing. Include false, inaccurate, vague, or misleading item location information may lead to confusion around delivery time and shipping cost. What to do? Include accurate item location description. The city and the state or city and country should match appropriately. For example, Hong Kong, China, Sydney, Australia, Omaha, Nebraska, United States. What not to do? Provide incorrect or inaccurate item location. State US when the item is actually being shipped from China. Include inaccurate, inaccurate, vogue, or misle misleading item location descriptions such as Beijing, United Kingdom, Hong Kong, United Kingdom, and so on. Include item location information in the item description that does not match the item information in the item location field. Include inconsistent information in your return policy around the item location, which may result in higher return costs or confusion for buyers. So basically, the, sh the, the item location misrepresentations uh, did not change at all. It's exactly the same like it was. The only things eBay did, it, it's requesting from us to update uh, the zip code. And the incentive they're trying to give us in order to, in order us updating the zip code is telling us that if we will update the zip code, they will basically give us more search visibility and a more um, more uh, traffic now what they say based on the zip code I, this is what they wrote in the letter based on the zip code they will be able to match our product to the location of our buyers and so on and so on and so on now the question that everyone is asked is that mandatory and the answer is no first of all let's think about bigger not everyone is drop shipping from amazon uh, to ebay walmart to ebay or no not everyone is drop shipping and shipping from multiple locations. We're talking about big merchants that ship from multiple locations. For example, if you're an Amazon seller and you send your products to Amazon Fulfillment Services, your product will be fulfilled from different locations, not only from one location. And if you are also sell on eBay, you cannot have one location for your shipping. So you will use multiple location and this is the answer for you guys if you're shipping from different location in the united states and you want to comply with uh, ebay shipping policy without misleading misrepresenting misrepresent you should use multiple location yes it's not as good as using exact address or exact uh, a zip code but it still work out and you can still make money out of it okay if you're drop shipping from china this step not yet being updated uh, for Chinese sellers because probably uh, a first stage of, of this update is on eBay.com and in US location they have more control so they can do it. But anyway, what I want you to understand guys, this is not mandatory. You can still drop ship uh, with using multiple location or with 
misrepresenting the address, it will not be the perfect option and I'm not suggesting you to do it. But guys, it's still working. Many people selling on eBay and this is, this is in fact what is happening and they generate sales and generate profit, okay? And by the end of the day, we don't go to the uh, supermarket to buy milk with zip code in the pocket or with top rated seller in our pocket. We're going with profit, with money, right? So guys, first of all, reduce the panic. If you're dropshipping from a uh, US location, uh, from, from Amazon, Walmart, other suppliers in the US, and you don't have one warehouse and you cannot update the zip code, either just write an exact um, city and state the way they want us to write, like it's written here in the policy, or use multiple location. I saw uh, many people which are very successful dropshipping on eBay, dropshipping from US suppliers using multiple location, and it's worked great for them. If you are dropshipping from AliExpress or Chinese suppliers, you anyway don't need to worry about it. You can just skip it. So guys, I hope this was helpful. And again, I want to ask from you something personally. Anytime that there is any change, please research it yourself, okay? There are many videos, many people publishing a lot of different videos and, and, and uh, I can understand also there are different opinions, but by the end of the day, you need to be responsible for your own business because you're business, business people here, not just, you know, here for having fun. And again, I want to repeat and say again, eBay asks us for, to and trying to encourage us to add zip code. I can understand the reason and they would prefer us to have zip code and they also say that they will give us more visibility for it. And I believe them, but it's not the only option and you can still run your business. Thank you very much, guys, and have a nice day.